And you don't get a chance to relive your regrets until months later. <laughs> <laughs> if you see something, you're like, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Starting in. Three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Pixels. Cuckoo is here with Saku and Rosh and we are continuing Ace Attorney Investigations. Hello! Hi! New case, new case, new case, new case, new case. <laughs> new case, who dis? <laughs> it's exciting is what it is. <laughs> I am excited. I like you it. should be. <laughs> I always want something really witty and interesting to say in these beginning bits, and I can never think of anything. Except I'm how excited happy. I am. Aww, <laughs> that's always interesting to see. How <laughs> excited. <laughs> you okay? I mean, I never have anything interesting to say, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've got that cute accent, you can get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> you can say whatever you want. Uh, and this is the last case of this game, and yes. I remember from the vi I can only remember like two main things from this case, but I remember my feelings, and my refe my feelings were that this is the only case I have ever hated, <laughs> and that includes the uh, oh, yeah. circus cool. case. So hopefully, hopefully I enjoy it better. I'm sure I will with you two around, but oof. <laughs> Let's hope we can save it. Two cards. One of the Black Raven. And one of the White Raven. I would argue that those were the wrong way around. <laughs> Country torn in two, one to the west, and one to the east. When those which were split are made whole again. Truth will reveal itself. <laughs> this is the start of the usual suspects. <laughs> it's worth what Kaiser so say. Yatagarasu. A. Do. <gasps> oh, no. Hey, what have you done? Eight hours earlier. Edgeworth, what have you done? <laughs> have a nice cup of tea. March 14th, 10.17am. High Prosecutor's Offices, Room 1202. It's so nice, almost dreamlike, to finally have the chance to relax and sip some. Tell me what that's like, Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after what a whirlwind the past few days have been. Edgeworth, we literally <laughs> played the game. We don't need a summary. It's a recap episode. <laughs> Hey, remember that time when I was on that flight with the elevator? <laughs> that Who was weird. Was on a Final Fantasy airship. <laughs> <laughs> and now, only now, can I sit down and drink the goddamn tea. <laughs> Thanks, Sid. <laughs> on my return flight, I was dragged into a case involving an Interpol agent's murder. The next day, I investigated a kidnapping and a murder. It was a land theme park. Later that night, a detective's dead body welcomed me back to my office. 
I dwarf, I would like have some serious questions about myself if you encountered three dead people in the span of two days. You know, I don't know that serial killers sometimes, Edgeworth. <laughs> Along with the thief who was out of files related to a case from ten years ago. How did I manage to find myself in the middle of so many cases back to back? Well, at least I have today. All I ask is that I be allowed to spend it quietly. Nope. Please, like, fade to black and just, like, the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth! I that would be gumshit. <laughs> this is big! Big, I tell you! Hey, what's wrong with you? Where's your enthusiasm? And suddenly, the phrase, the fragility of dream comes to mind. Do you ever just want to, like, slap Edgeworth? Like, not hard, just... Hard, just yes. Bit. Yeah, hard. <laughs> Careful, he might murder you. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of those unfaithful narrators, I can tell. <laughs> he thinks he wants the truth, but really, he's killing everyone. What are you talking about? Fragile dreams? What are you kid? <laughs> Come on, let's go! The fake Yatagarasu isn't going to find herself, you know. Well, if you must know, it's possible that I was paid a visit last night by your fake. Say what? Unfortunately for us, the thief managed to escape. But even now, we're still looking for this criminal. However, I must warn you that we've only had a few hours to search so far. Also, if you do not close your mouth, something very bad is going to happen to you. <laughs> I must insist that you be patient on this one, Kay. Uh, what's with you today? Are you sure you aren't sleep-talking to me right now? A anyway, I've got something much more important that I want you to see. Oh, and that is... Good combo with the Pomeranian upload a video. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this! On March 14th, I will be there to steal your dirtiest secret. That's quite a bold declaration to send for an embassy. I suppose it was inevitable that a newspaper would catch wind of the... The date the card members... The date the card mentions is today. Today, huh? Come on! We've got to hurry! The embassy awaits! I suppose it is quite an urgent matter. However, do you know which country's embassy we could be investigating? Well, it's some really special country, and I'm actually really fuzzy on the details. But never mind that! Where's all your energy? Why are you lackadaisical today? I'm not, eh? You're just too wound up. Well, then you should get too wound up, too! Because this just might be our chance to catch that woman. You mean Ms. Yu? The woman who killed Kay's father, Ben Faraday, seven years ago. And that other guy. Yeah, nobody cares about him. He's a criminal with a gun. <laughs> She? And so is she! Listo, you. She claimed to be the great thief, Yatagarasu. And then disappeared from the courtroom. Ugh, she makes me so mad! The phony! Everyone knows that the real Yatagarasu would never send something like a calling card. Until companies' underhanded dealings are made public. 
The target is always totally unaware that the Yatagrasu has paid them a visit. That's what makes the real Yatagrasu so awesome! Hmm... The Yatagarasu's card that's shown in this article. Looks to me as though it could be genuine. See, that's the thing. Whoever it is, that real person isn't the real deal, but has knowledge of the real of the Yatagarasu. If this isn't a clue that that woman's involved, then nothing is. On, Mr. Edgeworth! Out the door you go! Wait, there are a few preparations I must make before we go. He's making a thermos of tea! <laughs> <laughs> There's something interesting about this card we found last night here in my office. It's of a different color than the one in the article, which makes me wonder why. What's up? Any reason why you're boring a hole through the newspaper with your eyes? It's staring at me. I was always taught that when something stares at you, you should stare back. Aww. Other than that, no. No reason at all. Very well. Seeing as how miss you, it's also someone of a special nature to me. I agree there is some merit to be found in investigating this. I knew you'd come around. March 14th, 5 p.m. Theatrum Neutralis. We need to embark on our nightly outing. And this is where. Our tale begins! Ah, still suffering, Sama! <laughs> Is that Edge Horse? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence. Who would have thought that a Steel Samurai stage show would ever be held at such an elegant theatre inside a foreign embassy? Did you organize this, Edgeworth? <laughs> He's so dead. You know what? <laughs> yeah, the climax was really awesome! Steel Samurai Sushi Slice! I got chills down my spine when he pulled that move out. I suppose it really is more impactful to watch a show in person than on television. I have to say, though, this embassy is set up kinda funny. Kinda video gamey. I mean, <laughs> they have two countries sharing the same building. Well, as you said yourself, this place and the countries it houses are very special. Even this theater is special in that it is a neutral zone shared by two countries. Uh, so let me get this straight. The Steel Samurai show just now is being sponsored by one of the two countries. The one that's called the Kingdom of Alabast, right? Yes, it would appear the Steel Samurai is very popular in that country as well. <laughs> Seems that way. But you know who I'm really into? The Jammin' Ninja! The Republic of Babel is sponsoring a Jammin' Ninja stage show. And that's something for fangirls like me. I want have a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> We've totally got to see that too, Mr. Edgeworth. The Jammin' Ninja show is gonna kick the Steel Samurai show rear end. Just like snaps her neck. He wouldn't get his own hands dirty later. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how much he loves the Steel Samurai. <laughs> You know, ever since I first met this girl, I've always had this inkling to snap her neck. <laughs> <laughs> that what she really wants to be... ...is dead. Is not a thief, but rather a... So, anyway, about today's event, uh... 
Um, what's it called again? The Kingdom of Alabast versus the Republic of Babel, Goodwill Jubilee. The small European countries of the Kingdom of Alabast. Sorry, they did not just make like an East and West Germany, like... Com <laughs> yeah, they oh, did. Oh man. It's from East Berlin, is he? Um, just pre the fall of the wall. Hey, kind Berliner. <laughs> we just need to get the chipmunks to sing a song and bring the wall down. <laughs> Do you guys remember that? <laughs> that was so wild looking back on it. You're like, wait, this is about the German wall. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let the walls fall down. <laughs> oh man. I'm, I'm afraid. And the Republic of Babel. These two countries used to be a single entity that was the Republic of Babel. Oop, could you say that again? You. Or losing you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was afraid, and, and my fear took over. <laughs> <laughs> These two countries used to be a single entity that was abundant with nature. It was called. Yeah. You're like really fading in and out, Saku, right now. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not sure what's happening. It it's not like your mic's cutting in and out. It's like as if you're moving away from your microphone. Yeah. Okay, we'll try and be nearer to it. And it was called the Principality of Kadoki. Hmm. Is everything all right, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, I'm all right. You be After a period of civil unrest, the country split in two. No signs of their past remain. For example, their flags preserve the flower and the flying motifs. Oh, you'd want to be in the one that has the butterfly, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Did we lose him? I think there's something going on with my microphone. I don't know what. Yeah. We have a little pause and see if we can fix it with the Discord, Discord diagnostics or. Yeah. I have a look. Coco has sent you a little message that I think you'd quite enjoy. Let me see... And when I do the mic check, it sounds fine. I don't know. So you're nice and clear here? Now, yeah, yeah, you're clear now. Yeah. All clear, <laughs> nothing... Perfect. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gets a little bit, but like, no more than usual, so... Mm -hmm. It's weird. It's not moving yeah. away or anything, and in the same spot, so I don't... Hmm. Very strange. Tell me I... if it happens again. Okay. Yeah, and we can, we can always edit it, right? Well, Oko can, because Oko has to do all the edits. <laughs> Unfortunately, OBS, there's very little I can do, because it, like, shoves all the audio onto one track. Oh. Yeah. No. Try our best. Is it okay though? Nothing weird happening. It it kind of, it, it, it's weird because it goes. Sometimes it's clear and sometimes it goes out. Like the only thing I can think to suggest that might help a little is just make sure that you're holding down your push to talk for longer. But right now, like yeah, okay. it's as Rosh explained. It's more like it feels like it sounds like you're moving away from the mic. Okay. Is something covering the mic? Is there like? Or do you have, like, maybe your phone near it or anything like that that might be causing some interference? Not at the moment. Huh. Hmm. 
Okay, well, well, we'll That's go it. for a little. We'll go for a little longer. See if maybe it just fixes it itself. <laughs> yeah, we blip. It's a curse in this case. <laughs> Okay, um, so we come back in whenever? Yeah. Okay. Oh, don't care. Huh. KG-8 incident, and what was referred to as the second KG-8 incident. In which an embassy staff member was murdered. Both of these cases were related to the Principality of Cadopia. Principality. Thank you. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to come across all school teaching there. It was just like because I made that a joke with Gumshoe about angels and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I always appreciate learning how to say it. <laughs> the seven years that have passed, the country may have split in two. What could it all mean? I don't know, Edward. This is getting very good as political on me. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, I know you're thinking about something. Oh, excuse me. I was thinking about how you were a ninja. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Ugh, if you could please stop spacing out on me. Anyway, we were talking about the Alabast versus Babel Goodwill Jubilee. The two countries have had a pretty bad relationship with each other. But supposedly, they've been trying really hard to make up recently. That's why they decided to hold this event. If that's the case, then why the verses? Also, both countries claim to own the real Prima Duck statue, a nat national treasure to both. They're planning to have them publicly evaluated today to see which one's the real deal. I might need to take care and not succumb to your thieving desires. Well, when it comes to treasure, I just can't help myself. You know that. Hey, I can read your body language, you know. You've got it all wrong. Look, I'm here to do some investigating. Investigating, I tell you. I know. And although we don't know if the Yatagarasu will really make an appearance. I suppose we should still spend some time examining this place. <gasps> There's a very festive atmosphere in here. Yep, super festive. I'm really happy for the Kingdom of Alabas and the Republic of Babel. It's great that they have re-established diplomatic relations. The newspapers say that it's almost like they're Kadopia once again. Revisiting. The Republic after that tower that God made to like make sure the people <laughs> spoke all different languages. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah>. Only <laughs> one language will now be allowed. <laughs> Universal Kadopian language. <laughs> Perhaps we are bring witness to a historic moment. Hey, look! They're selling some commemorative merchandise to celebrate this event. Founders Kadopia Biscuits. And over here, they're selling Royal Kadopia Biscuits. Queen of the Empire Biscuits, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> it would seem they have yet to reconcile their competitive spirit. Is not pulling off that green suit very well. <laughs> and we're here reporting live from the Theatre Mutralis. As you can see, tonight's audience is full of enthusiasm. 
Let's see what this member of the audience has to say. Okay. okay, that was good. Let's do one more run through. Excuse me, but you are ready to film for real. Mind being in full. Okay, okay, that's good. All right, now give me a dramatic slab right there. Stop, stop! Hey, do you mind? Get out of the way, buddy. Okay, once more. And three, two, one, action! Well, he's obviously working. I guess we should leave him alone. <gasps> no! Oh, no! No! no. <laughs> <laughs> it appears that the child is watching the video from the first season of Steel Summer. What? He's me? Hmm. Keep on fighting until you're left. Go, my hero. Take the steel samurai. We absorbed. I'll let the child watch it. Saku, could you turn your mic to like off push to talk? Yeah, I could try. Because I'm wondering if it's because when you push down, it's not reading it as fully like. Accessing the mic? Hmm. Maybe. I've got the delay on zero, but I'll turn it up. Can you guys see me talking? Um, we'll, we'll see how it goes with this. Yeah. Can you oh, hear yeah. me okay? Yeah, we can hear yeah. you okay right now. I just have to try and cut my coughing and sneezing to a minimum. <laughs> Sorry, hon. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay. Make my screen big again. Completely absorbed in singing the theme song. I see. I'll let the child watch in peace. Aww. That's a really lame theme song, by the way. That's like the English Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> you take that back. That was the best theme song. Dragon, 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 dragon balls. <laughs> Actually, you're right, you know, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Where in Tarnation are they? Come on, Big Scoop! Hey, mister, out of the way, yeah, I'm talking to you! Mm. I seem to remember this woman from somewhere. Yet my instincts have directed me not to engage in conversation with her. Very good idea. <laughs> Perhaps it would be best if I left her alone. Is there something I can tell you with? I was wondering what is beyond these doors. Tickle your arm. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that, I am on duty. <laughs> the Babylese Embassy is just beyond these doors, sir. Do you have some business with the embassy? Do you require immediate access? Uh, no. That's quite alright. Are you sure, sir? Anyone and everyone is always welcome in the Republic of Babel. Well then, since we're here... An embassy isn't some sort of theme park, Kay. You're such a buzzkill. I hope nobody minds that I'm taking all the sort of like bit parts that you're talking to. I figure just because you guys are the main two at the moment. Yeah. We can cool switch up me. when yeah, the recurring ones start showing up for this. The national flag of the Republic of Babel is on display here. The crest on it features a butterfly. It's really rare to see a national flag featuring an animal on it. Super rare. Incredibly rare. <laughs> I think it's Wales, in England, actually England's, 
its coat of arms has a lion. Sorry, the St. George's mm-hmm. flag doesn't. Not that you would know, because most people think the English flag is the butcher's apron. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I am Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's Not called really. the. <laughs> 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 Least a few of you that do, or for you that do. Okay, then are there any flags with really chic things on them? Chic things? That's pretty vague, Kay. Although, by my definition, there aren't really any flags that feature a chic object. How dare you? Wales has a dragon. The Isle of Man has like <laughs> three legs together. The Vatican City has like crossed keys. <laughs> Aww, that's too bad. You know too much about flags, little voice. <laughs> <laughs> because if there was, I was thinking about stealing it. <laughs> and what exactly would you do with the stolen national flag, Kay? Sorry, that just reminds me, um, remember when the, um, Les Miserables movie came out? I was friends with someone who was, like, really into Javert, like, just loved Javert. Like, didn't matter who played him, whatever, just loved Javert. And um, I went to Javert. Yeah, just loved Javert. It didn't matter who played him. <laughs> and um, when I went into the cinema, there was a big, like, floor to ceiling poster of, like, just the various characters. And when I walked in, I just straight up saw Russell Crowe as Javert. <laughs> so I took a picture and I was just like, oh, look what I found for Friends Dame. And she immediately responded, like, steal it. And I was like, the <laughs> irony of stealing something with Javert on it was just, like, no irony for me to steal it. I stole a cardboard cut out of your face. <laughs> <laughs> My best friend Liz was close to death, and she was starving. <laughs> it was all again. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> <laughs> These flowers were sent by Global Studios. Really? That's been out of uh, commission for several years. <laughs> yeah, that's that was, right. Sorry, that was a video rental store. <laughs> <laughs> Global Studios? That's where they film the Steel Samurai television show. It's worth I have terrible news. Oh. <laughs> Don't he'll cry. He's already cried into his tea today. <laughs> they have been producing hit after hit recently, so the studio is being remodeled. Oh, I read about that in the papers the other day. That mascot of theirs is also getting a facelift too, right? Um, what's its name? You mean Ms. Monkey, or Mrs. Monkey. I can't remember if she was married or not. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was something like that. You really have a great memory. Ah, never underestimate my powers of recollection. Now, was it Mrs. or Ms. Monkey? <laughs> it was Mr. I'm literally the only character of these games that has memory or common sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's his superpower. Power. Oh, this guy is like so exploitable. It's like when the queen wore that green dress and everyone just kept putting different like photoshops <laughs> over it because it was exactly green screen. Green oh screen my color. god! <laughs> this is the perfect angle. Hmm. Go, my image. Travel across the wave world and into every TV set around the globe. A more honest approach to appearing on TV might serve your ambitions better. What's dishonest about that green suit, Edgeworth? <laughs> <laughs> there are pamphlets about the two embassies here on this table. Hmm. Hmm. Still looks weird to me. The country split in two a few years back. And they've shared the building and its grounds 50-50 ever since. Oh, I guess it's because they don't have the money to build two separate ones, huh? 
I, I should think it's not the reason. Why, Kay? I suppose I'll just help myself to one of these. What's all the hubbub? We didn't get to talk to the two lesbians over there. Oh no. Damn it. Ah, that makes me very sad. <laughs> hey, look! It's the Steel Samurai! Almost as good as lesbians. And he's got his son, <laughs> the Iron Infant, with him. Oh. Uh... How does that work, Edgeworth? Well, you see, when, uh... <laughs> Daddy robot and a mummy robot love each other very much. <laughs> they go to the factory and commission a baby robot to be made. <laughs> and as it grows, they upload its AI into a different chassis. <laughs> <laughs> Only possible no. in a flat earth. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Bring that back up. Yeah, and that last I couldn't help but laugh. I know, right? And that pink princess's movements were really stiff. In the middle of the show, I could swear that I heard her hip crack. Oh, I know. I totally thought that too. The pink princess is a bad hip. Seriously, just what were they thinking? You know? I suppose there's no graceful way to enter this conversation. <laughs> These lesbians love each other so much. They're like really in an aura of like anti edge war. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, girls. You win. Ten more minutes. No, in, in five more minutes. Well, isn't it really bad for me to spend time doing this? It's no use. Would someone just please tell me what I should do? Don't jump. You appear to be troubled by something. May I be of any assistance? Sorry, 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 honey. Could you stop tickling the back of my head, you weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> That's the girl saying, leave me alone. <laughs> Edgeworth has tickled everyone in this room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out just the white time to talk to my girl over there. Dude, don't. She's a lesbian. And if I mess up, it'll be called I'm talking to you right now. Not because she's a lesbian or anything. Somehow, I get the feeling he's about to fall flat on his face. Let's record it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's 200 bucks, right? <laughs> well, let's just do as he wishes and leave him alone. There's a lot of cameras around, so if he does fall over... <laughs> Is there something I can help you with? Tickle your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I am married to the man on the other side of the doors. We are a star-crossed love. I would prefer if you would stop stroking my chest with your Never. very tickly finger. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Must tickle everyone. It really, really does look like he's doing the boy. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> it really, really does. Excuse me, biggest of boys. <laughs> What did they say after that? <laughs> it's like, you only hear Hey Big Boy, you don't hear the rest. Like, what's the follow-up to that? I don't know, that's street stuff. <laughs> Hello, Big Boy. I was wondering what is beyond these doors. It's the Alabastian Embassy. Now, is, unless you has been some business with Embassy. Sorry, I'm very distracted by you taking my chest. <laughs> oh, thank you for yourself. <laughs> I suppose I can't really claim to have any business with the embassy right now, or with this man and his chest. Well, you don't have to be so rude about it, Mr. Guard. <laughs> Everybody's rude to me when I tickle them. Stop, stop, stop. May I speak with you for a second? You know, that makes sense. <laughs> it's, it's the Steel Samurai. Mr. Edgeworth, what are you clearing at him for? <clears throat> Please excuse me. It's just that I've never seen a superhero up. <laughs> Looks like he's 
written something down for you. To Edgeworth, from Steel Samurai Daddy, married man of Neo Old Tokyo. Wow, an autograph. Pretty cool that you got one, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? Huh. And Tyranally is like... He, he is so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we will end this episode right here. Thank you guys for joining us, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Au revoir.